Hey guys, MD Prepper here, doing a quick update vid on the after effects of shooting these do all reactive self sealing targets. Took these out this weekend, did not shoot them up nearly as much as I planned to do or really wanted to do. Had a buddy over and, well, we shot some other stuff and I really didn't want to hit this with a shotgun, so uh, we did other things. But we did shoot them somewhat this weekend. Um, Various calibers. Um, we started with 223 and 5.56. We'll talk about that here in a second. After that, I believe we moved on to 10 millimeter and 40 Smith and Wesson out of my Glock 20, and finally we finished up with just a handful of 38 special rounds. The bulk was done out of probably the 10 millimeter rounds and the 223. I did not do a head count on the rounds fired. I probably should have, had, but I just didn't. Forgive me. Oh well. So let's start by getting these two out of the way, talking about this one. This little ball here I thought was going to be the one I liked the best. Um, I liked it the least probably overall. It didn't bounce and move nearly as much as I thought it would in response to the round shot, but it did fairly well with the self-sealing. Um, let me try to show you guys some of the smaller hits on this thing. You see it here, that is a little hole from a 223, um, another one right there, this was the exit shot. A uh, little hole right there. That's a 10 millimeter. Don't ask me how I know this. I just do. Looked at them as I shot them. There's another 10 millimeter. Another 10 millimeter there. You get a little bit of powder burn on those. These were not from too far off. Uh, the one concern I had with this, and I think this was a bit of a fluke shot, I was shooting basic 223 until I upgraded to a little military grade 5.56 with uh, some of the uh, light armor piercing rounds and well this was actually one of the first rounds we made the intro was right here see that little tiny tiny hole well what happened was I hit this thing end on and it traveled down this ribbing skeletonized section here and this is what happened on the back end I shredded the heck out of this thing uh, hopefully you can see that right there that was just one round that was one very well placed round it was probably second or third round in I don't remember um, I was shooting an AR that sights were not perfect so I missed the first few and then hit it right here along this edge and it traveled down through the thing again this light armor piercing around and you got a big chunk taken out of it that was the only time that happened um, everything else are very small holes so I don't know how much that's going to happen with this round or with this contraption here but just a slight concern um, I probably will try to stay away from shooting the uh, armor piercing rounds. Again, this could have happened with any of the 223s. I don't know if it was just a fluke. Again, I was switching back and forth between several mags with just a few rounds and just play around with and that's what happened. So, this thing gets shredded like this with just a few rounds, we're in trouble. But uh, overall, it held up very well, especially in response to most of the handgun rounds. Um, but this would do a whole lot of damage in a hurry. You see that big cracked hair right there from the round went through and tore it up so I don't know not a major hit against it this just did not bounce as much as I thought it would overall will this last a thousand rounds well not with light armor piercing rounds I don't think it will now got this one the more heavy thick ball which is rated for 10,000 rounds I don't know about 10,000 again the same types of rounds here um, most of the damage was on the exit side here you see that right there it's that little tear there, another one right there, just roll it around there and there, etc. Uh, the entry holes, relatively small. Uh, there's a 10 millimeter right there, the upper one, the larger one, and that's another 223, that little small little nub right there. So this stuff holds up very well versus the smaller caliber stuff in 223, etc. There's another 223. Um, seems to be okay. Only problem with this big, thicker one, which should be expected is that it did not bounce nearly as much as you would think it would. It was not nearly as reactive. It didn't jump a lot. Uh, it would roll a few few feet and stop. Now, admittedly, some of this was in higher grass. I had a lot of rain here and have not cut the grass down by the range. And so there was a lot of high grass for this thing to roll through. But this thing is pretty dense. I don't have the weight on it. So it would just roll just a little bit, which is fine for reactive shooting, but I was expecting something a little more. Now, the top hat was absolutely amazing. This was my favorite overall. Held up the best, even though it seems to be the thinnest. It jumped, it bounced, it threw itself way up in the air several feet. 
uh, before it came down and came down at odd angles and always righted itself. So that's fantastic. There are the looks right there at it. Uh, various rounds. See that? There's exit wound there. But overall held up very well. This was shot with mostly 10 millimeters for the most part. There's the bottom. Um, not real bad. Most of that is not holes. Most of that is gunpowder residue. I was relatively close when shooting these. So these held up very, very well overall. I love this top hat. Definitely the most reactive of the reactive targets that I've got. This is the one I'm going to buy more of. Even my buddy who was shooting with me said the exact same thing. So, well, that's the way to go. Um, there's a 223 round right there if you set a little hole. And that's probably the worst damage on it. Got a little bit of plastic on the back side. So, overall, not too many rounds fired yet. I'll try them out more in the future, but. So far, the top hat is the way to go compared to these other two. This one could have just been a lucky hit, like I said. This was going to last a lot longer, but this was much more fun. Anyway, guys, just a quick vid. I'll do more in the future. Eddie Prepper, out.